my name is Avery and today I will be showing you how to reserve a room through Cumberland County Library's new calendar. To get started, you'll start on Cumberland County Library's website. There's two ways to do it. You can either go through the calendar, so you'll choose the calendar icon and then you'll click on current calendar, which will take you to our calendar's main page and then you would choose to reserve a room. You can also go through from the main page you can go through using the library you would choose reserve a room you'll click here where it says once you read through the guidelines for the library use you'll click that you have read and agreed to the guidelines and that will take you to a new page which is our calendar I'm going to click through this. Here we have all of our guidelines for library use and once you scroll down you have two options. You can choose a reservation by room so if you have a specific room that you want you can reserve it that way or you can reserve it by day if you have the specific day that you need but you don't really care where the reservation is going to be. I'm going to show you both ways and we'll start by room. So I'll choose this, click, click right here. And then as you can see, it's organized by location. So we have Headquarters Library, we have the Bordeaux Library, we have the Cliffdale Library, and so on. So I'm going to reserve a room at Bordeaux. And that will take me to details about the room. And then it will also take me to their calendar. Anything that's grayed out here like this is going to be unavailable, but anything that's white and has a plus sign next to it is available and then we have the date here so I can choose something for let's say I want next month on the 14th I'll apply that and then I want 10 a.m. on the 14th so I'll choose that I'll put in my title so I'm going to reserve for a book club say that I agree to the terms and conditions. If you want to know about the terms and conditions, you have room reservation policy right here, and that tells you the rules for res reserving a room. My group is only going to meet for an hour, and I expect five people to attend. I don't need any equipment. And then in here, I'll put in my contact information, my organization, and any special things that I need and then I have to put in what I'm going to use the room for so I will say my group is and then I would submit that so that is how you would reserve by room but let's say I want to reserve by day so now you can choose the room type here. I'm going to choose a conference room. Now this reservation is particularly for people who need a specific date and time, but they don't particularly care where they will be. So I'm going to go with the same date. We're gonna go with August 14th at 10 a.m. For one hour, and then you can choose any branches that you want but I just, I'm going to go for all branches and see what's available. And then that tells me what is available. I'm going to choose Cliffdale here. I'll look at the details. Again, we have information here. We have the dates here. And then I'm going to go ahead and reserve on the 14th. And then I'll put in all of my information and I'll submit when I'm done. Now, anything, any reservations for a conference room are automatically approved, so you won't have to wait for confirmation of approval, but if you reserve for anything larger, like a meeting room, let's change that here. So say you want to reserve the paint room on the 14th from 10 to 11, that would require um, 
approval from the branch manager. So if you want something a little more simple to your reservation, a conference room would be your choice. But if you have a larger gathering and you need a meeting room, that will require approval from the branch. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or want to know more about our spaces or calendar, please give us a call at 910-483-7727 or visit our website at cumberlandcountync.gov library. Have a great day.